I want to say this. Uh, a compliment to all of you at this campus for the way that you have handled this, managed it, and come through this year and much farther down the road than maybe any of us ever expected it to be. No one, no one ever anticipated this kind of thing. And But it happened, and you dealt with it, you dealt with it with it. And for the community, I know the mayor is here. Mr. Mayor, thank you. The community really, really responded. And uh, I was impressed when I got here that evening that the first responders were already here Man post was set up, people were doing things, and things started to happen. And I also want to say a big thank you to the university uh, administration. A year ago, there was a very concentrated group of people and animals uh, not too far from here that were uh, gathered on the last day of the Wayne County Fair. And the potential for that to be disrupted by a direct hit from that tornado would have been an unprecedented disaster for this county. The fact that it came through here, um, in some ways, it could have been uh, less, that's, that's hard to say in some ways. But as I look back, uh, last night I drove in from Columbus after a different kind of tornado activity in the legislature for a while. <laughs> I was thankful I was coming back, and I was coming back to get down to the fair for that last night, and it, it, it struck me again uh, how much worse it could have really been. I mean, you know, you know that you have good people in an organization, but when you see how they respond under this kind of crisis, how they snap back, I mean, there's no sense, that there's no question that there's a sense of grieving that one goes through in a, in a situation like it's a necessary part of the process. But it's also really interesting to see how people quickly focus on what needs to be done, where they're going, asking what they can do to make things work. Uh, that resiliency is something that, that I'll never, never forget. One of the things that people always remark on on this campus is the number of trees, because it really sets off the beauty of the campus. So this is research services right here building and one of the things you'll notice is all the trees there, the trees that line uh, the boulevard that are coming into campus. Uh, this is the way that it looked uh, after the tornado. Now this is about really about three weeks after because the grounds are all cleaned up. But the, the thing that always strikes me in this picture is how barren everything looks. So it really stark landscape. He always is asking summary uh, is uh, 79 structures, 24 greenhouses, 1,600 trees, and I'll have to get an absolute number from Jim because I know he'll give me an absolute number eventually, uh, 36 vehicles. So those are kind of the numbers things that people, people look at. People also want to know what the total damages are, and uh, we're still 